Thank you so much. My warmest thanks and greetings to uh, Siga to Geistert here. Um, dear love since many, uh, dear love and friends since many years here and also connected for so many years. She has opened this conference with us and now she gave us the farewell. It is up uh, onto me now to say this farewell, the defining the future, rethinking the past is not over, of course. However, this conference is now on its, at its end. This is the welcome and goodbye. It was the 18th IRPH conference hosted by the Center for the History of Women Philosophers and Scientists here in virtual Paderborn. Dear friends, colleagues, audiences all over the world, Thank you so much for being with us and for having accompanied us during these last days. You were so wonderful speakers, wonderful partners. I don't know if the people only said that to me, but I got so many good resonances and people wrote to me and were enthusiastic. So, and this is what I'm referring to. You attended our events with so much energy for so many days. You were awake, asking and answering, sharing so much information with us. Thank you, very, thank you so much for all this. Speakers and participants from all over the world also shared their experiences, the problems they are facing and I understood how important it is that we are facing how our friends in other countries all over the world, what is the status that they are in. It was really um, taking, you know, to hear stories, differences, to find out the status where we are. We met so many colleagues from so many countries, and we shared feelings. You know, we met friends, we made new ones. Crucially, I think, is that we have seen we are not alone, but are we are becoming a force in this discourse, and hereby we are growing as a power in this discourse. The ship on which famously Theseus sailed with his 30 younglings and returned safely, has turned within these days into a galley with much more than 500 participants, all gender philosophers. We have started to remove old planks and replaced them with new and intact ones. The ship will no longer be the same as it was before our journey, when we have started now to rewrite the history of philosophy, and even more, we will change the direction of this ship. We grew out as a chorus of diverse voices that will move the ship of the future in a slightly or strongly different direction. How strong we grow has also become evident with the networks that have been presenting here and have connected and shown their work. So I was really impressed and I would like only to name them again. If you want to join in them, you find them still on our webpage and can uh, uh, connect yourself to them. First, I would like to mention, for obvious reason, the Rede Brasileira de Mujeres Philosophers, the strong Brazilian women philosophers, all gender philosophers group including our Elizabeth of Bohemia awardee, Miteli da Silva. 
our keynote, She Sells Seco, cooperation partners, Katrina Pexotto, Pedro Pejinski, our friends and colleagues, Anna Riga, Nastasia Pulisi, and so many more. The, re the Red de Mujeres Philosophers de Latin America, headed by Cynthia Martinez from Mexico. The Latin American Network presented to us by Cristina Sanchez. And the Red Latino Americana de Estudios Sobre Filosofas en la Historia, presented by Silvia Manzo, Katrina Pechotto, Viridano Platas, Teresa Rodriguez, and others. Last but not least, of course, I want also to mention the international and worldwide network built up by Clara Carus, the new voices hosted here at the center. During this conference, we also have awarded a twofold award for women philosophers going back into past and defining the future, setting two groups of philosophers in the center of this award, the German funding mothers of 1976 and the Rede de Brasileiras de Mujeres Philosophers, and the, the prize went to Miteli da Silva as an organi organizing figure. If you are sad that it is over, come and visit us here, not only in virtual Parabon, but also in virtual Parabon. First, our documentation, I don't know if you can see that, it has been freshly published randomly this Monday, but it is also online. But you know that our YouTube channel has many things to offer. And the first thing you can find there are our keynotes. He, Roland Mikos is already busy, busy, busy to put all these keynotes online. And I would like to encourage those of you from the speakers, because also among the speakers, many speakers had, could have served as uh, uh, keynotes, but <laughs> we are happy to have had so many really good um, talks and workshops, really. So I'm, I'm content with that, and uh, perhaps not all are, but I am very content. Let me, yes, and uh, please turn to us, if you from the speakers, if you say, I'm happy to be online and to have a link uh, to see my talk there, you know that we thoroughly prepare all these talks and you know our YouTube channel uh, page, so please feel free to turn to us um, under the um, address that is well known, the contact IPH address. It will not go as quickly as it will go for the keynotes. And if you have missed, as we have had so many talks, 160 talks about, we had not so many cancellations. Online conferences usually have to count on 50% of cancellations. We are far from that. I don't know, we had perhaps 10 or 15% of cancellations. And so, so nearly so many people have been here and did not, so and have presented. So I, let me also add that the IPH is soon active again here in Germany because in September there's the Deutsche Kongress for Philosophy and the IPH as well the German group here, the Arbeitsgruppe of Frauen in der Geschichte der Philosophie, will be presented. And I'm grateful to Clara Karas and Anna Rodriguez again that they will support me to present uh, uh, and to, to, to organize all that and to be there and to, yeah, all the things that have to be done. So, where will we see us next time? The biennial conference of the IPH will surely be hosted in a different country, in another country, in, and most probably on another continent, where will be decided in the next hour. We are, <laughs> we are so, I, I would also like to mention the following, that some have written to us here at the center. 
It is not the center who can send the link for participating. It is the IIPH who has sent out the link for the participation as only IIPH members can participate in this general assembly and elect the next board. So if you have not yet done so, join the IRPH now. We become strong and stronger. And by, yeah, if you, yeah. So Mary Ellen asked me and said, when you join us now, it is, however, no possibility now to come to the assembly because for administrational reasons, you will surely understand that. So, but it is always good. Join us because we become stronger and stronger. And by the way, of course, all gender can become member of the IRBH. So this is our farewell. Also, our registration had to be closed on Monday, as then already more than 500 registered participants were noticed. 160 contributors, as I have said, from more than 40 countries and all continents. A lot so had to be managed. So, and um, I have to express my great gratitude. This afternoon, I thought about to buy some flowers, but I thought, no, they, get, they will all get books from me, from my bookshelf, books. <laughs> so let me express my gratitude. First to those who gave me company here, Professor Mary Ellen Wade, Professor Cristina Sanchez, Katrina, Professor Kabina, Katrina Karpenko, Federica Giardini, Ivana Skuchala, and Luca Borsic. My greatest thanks to my team. Felix Greve, who managed this conference with reliability, friendliness, circumspection, and great experience that he had gained in the last three summer schools already. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Felix. So my I, I think now, most probably for presenting the next thank you, I don't know if the person will turn the camera. We will see. So my deepest thanks also go to Roland Mikos. <laughs> he shares a good part of my intellectual life here as a historian in the history of women philosophers. He already, when he was student assistant, years ago, he recorded my first winter lecture in 2011. He has shaped and he's responsible for the international media representation since so many years. He's part of the center and we could not do without him. Thanks also to Christine Kuiper, who managed now for three years and built up our social media. <laughs> Rebecca Schubert, who only joined our team in spring to support Felix. To Violetta Milcevic, Shari Wölker and Dorian Weiss, the wonderful, reliable, and inspired and inspiring teaching and research team here at the center, and for not only at the center, but at my chair, doing so many things for me day and night and week for week. But thanks also go to Clara, Clara Carus, She has become, she is in, she's only, she only joined us in November, but she's such an active part here at the center, which is wonderful. To Clara, Aaron, and Hans-Peter, who served as hosts and chairs during the last days. And not to forget Valentina Gaudiano. She spends her sabbatical 
at the center, as a fellow of the center, and simply she had to take over also several tasks that, because we needed her. Thank you for that, Valentina. <laughs> so this was it. It was great. I enjoyed it. We are looking forward to seeing you all again. Our mission is taking big steps every year. We love you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you.